All right, it's a holiday. So I went to Sephora and Target and um, to the mall, you know. I was searching for Moroccan oil and you could not find Moroccan oil on this island and I was so mad. I looked high and low everywhere for that stuff. Um, not the Moroccan oil, the Moroccan oil shampoo. Because I've been trying all these shampoos lately and they all like seriously dry out my hair. So I went to Sephora after I couldn't find any Moroccan oil. And I got, I returned my Fido Porter frequent use collection, because that, you know, I didn't like it very much. And I got the um, No Frizz Straight Making Styling System for fine to medium hair. Um, it's the shampoo, conditioner, and straight making styling spray. And so this is silicone free, um, oil free, and frizz free. So we will see. I don't actually have frizzy hair, but um, I do get frizz from the humidity. In Hawaii, like seriously, if you come here, don't even just stop. Don't bring a don't bring a blow dryer. Don't bring anything because uh, it's just not gonna work. It's gonna be flat. You just you just have to give up. So I have. So anyways, so oh, but the lady when I was checking out, um, she had super long hair and she was like, oh, I love that stuff, but don't use silicones with it. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why not? All my stuff has silicones. I love silicones in my hair. Like I don't get it. And then she's like, because the silicones. Um, I don't know, something about the free, I don't know, I don't know, but this is $25, you don't get very much, I'm not very cute about that, but, and then I also went to Sephora because I returned my Max Anti-Shine by Peter Thomas Roth, and, um, okay, my skin is freaking out, because I went to the dermatologist, and, not the dermatologist, the regular doctor, and they put me on, um, what is it, a section in here, one of them is, they gave me Duac Topical Gel, oh, which I hate. They've given the, me this like 18 times. Every single time I go to the doctor about my skin, they give me that. And I hate it. It just makes my skin super sensitive and peel off. Not a fan. Um, and then they also gave me a tretinoid. And so the tretinoid is making my skin seriously crazy. And I can't use my glycolic and lactic acid Brazilian peel stuff anymore because you can't use them together because I guess your face will fall off or something. But anyway, so I needed some like... I don't know, I just needed something to help with whatever was going on. So, I got a ton of samples. I got the Ole, Henriks Ole Henriksen um, Skin Insulator with SPF 15. And the lady who was helping me, I love her. She's so good. I have a few people at Sephora. They're so good. Like, they know how sensitive my skin is. And so, these, I don't know, we're hoping they're not going to break me out. So, that's why I didn't buy them for real. And then the new Ole Henriksen Truth Revealed Super Cream, SPF 15. And so it's like the Truth Serum Tag Along Cream, and you know, it's new, and it might break me out, but I don't know, we'll, we'll hope, we'll see. Anyways, and then I also got a ton of samples of foundations, because I wanted to try these again and see if I could just sample the colors to find the perfect match. So I want to get the, or I wanted to get the Fresh Umbrian Clay, um, foundation in Sandy Lane because it's a natural, paraben-free, doesn't have talc in it, and, you know, the one I'm using right now has talc in it, and it probably won't kill me or anything like that, but I still prefer not to just, I don't know, whatever, anyways. And then, I've, I've used all these foundations before, though, um, and I got the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation in MP4 and MP5. So the problem I have with those, um, why I returned them in the first place was, the fresh one just wouldn't work right with me, and I don't know if it was just the products I was using, but... The natural performance ones oxidize so easily, and I think it's like a problem with more organic, natural type foundations, um, but I found if you use a good antioxidant um, cream or something, it really helps it not oxidize, um, unless your antioxidant is infected. Ugh, and then I was so excited because I didn't know they came out with these, but Ole Henriksen apparently came out with a whole bunch of of products to go along with the True Serum. So these are the Truth to Go wipes. Um, and uh, the lady, I don't know, they might break me out. We were kind of like, whatever, it might, it might not, it might be safe, it's fine. She loves these things. She was saying how they make your skin feel so good. They smell so good, like an orange school. Uh, and like, just you don't have to wash your face again after you use these. You know how some cleansing wipes, you feel like scummy after you use it? She's like, no, these are so good. I love and so I've tried every single cleansing wipe at Sephora except for the purity ones and the new chorus ones that are milk protein. I really want to try those. But I'm so excited for these and they might break me off, but you know, it's worth a shot. Smell good for a day. 
And then, so, um, I had no luck finding any of that Moroccan oil shampoo. Oh, no, I got one more thing from Sephora, sorry. Um, I got, because Corinne from Encore Makeup just did a review on this, and he has acne scarring, and I have acne scarring, and I hate it. So, anything he says is good for that. I, like, kind of just go out and buy it. But anyways, it's the Pore Professional from Benefit. Quickly minimize the appearance of pores with the Pore Professional. What, what? But, um, yeah, you pat on lightly over makeup and blend. Hmm. Oh, or there's another way. Oh, apply the silky lightweight formula for translucent pore coverage and smoother than smooth skin. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we'll see. It might break me out too. I almost bought it before last time I was there, but I wasn't sure about some of the ingredients and I'm like, so not trying to break my skin out, but apparently I am. Uh, so anyways, then, okay, so I was not like planning to go to this store, but in the window, they had a new shampoo line out and they one up to every other natural, natural organic brand I've I can think of, I've seen. They made products that were good for the ocean and like the animals and like you can pour it down your drain and it won't harm anything. Cause like parabens, they put estrogen into the, you know, the world and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, the fish have no, I don't know, they're infertile or whatever, something. They grow two, two tails. But this is the rainforest moisture. I don't know if you can see that. Um, Rainforest Moisture Shampoo for Dry Hair, and it's got Praxi Oil, um, and Keti Nut Oil, and Community Trade Honey, and, uh, la, la, la. yeah, and then I also got the Rainforest Moisture Hair Butter for Dry Hair, and so I don't like the body shop because they lied to me, and so whatever, but I did forgive them a little bit for making these products, so I did go ahead and get just the sample sizes, they were like, buy one, get one half off, buy two, get one. I, something like that, but they were really cheap, like three fifty. So, I don't know if that's going to work, though, because if you put honey in your hair, I can't imagine it washes out very easily. But, anyways, we will see. And then, I went to Target because I wanted to get this eyelid primer that somebody had told me about, and she was saying it was really good, and it's only a dollar. So, anytime you get something for a dollar over, like, 24 it's always worth a shot. 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 Mm-hmm. I can't talk. But, anyways... So, they didn't have Elf at my Target, which was pretty disappointing. They didn't have a ton of stuff I wanted at Target. But I got some facial sponges without cleanser, because I had accidentally bought ones with cleanser, and it was sodium lauryl sulfate, and it, I know some of you know how much, you know, I'm not a fan of that. And it totally makes my sense. skin sensitive. And then I got sunglasses, because I sat on mine, and they broke, and I was walking around with some old Terminator-looking ones, and I was not looking cute. And then I got this bracelet, and I love it. Oh, I love this bracelet. Oh, ooh, it's probably going to break already. But you know how bangles, it's like, ah. This is, like, chunky still and thick, but it's not, like, um, attacking you. And, like, you know, if you try to do anything throughout the day, you get so much attention because you're making so much noise. So, oh, yeah, and then one more thing I got. Flip-flops, because I was walking around with a pair that my dog had chewed up when she was a puppy, like, two years ago. And I had ruined every other pair lately. I don't know. But anyways, these are nice, and they were 11 bucks on sale. You know, Target. They're always good for the flip-flops. But, yeah, and I also wanted to get some other stuff at Target, but they just didn't have anything I wanted that day. Whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions about how I like any of these products, let me know. I might do a review on some of them, or tell you they're just crap. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.